Summer is in full swing, which means many of you guys are getting ready for college. And for a lot of you, it may be your freshman year, so your first year of college, woohoo. So exciting. It's a time full of new opportunities, new experiences, and just a whole lot of fun. And to ensure a smooth transition, we compiled a list of five essential things you should be doing this summer to prepare for college. So let's dive right in. Hello everyone and welcome back to bold.org. One of the most critical aspects for preparing for college this summer is understanding your financial aid disbursement. You really want to go through your financial aid disbursement and really understand like the terms and conditions of each scholarship, grant, or loan you've been awarded. Because when you understand this, it'll give you peace of mind going into the semester. And if you have any questions about this at all, be sure to reach out to your financial aid office and they'll be happy to assist you because there is no worse feeling than thinking your school's all paid for and then you realize, oh man, I missed this in my financial aid package and I actually have to pay for this out of pocket. So you definitely want to make sure that you understand your financial aid package and make sure your whole entire semester is paid for, whether that be, again, through your loans, scholarships, grants, anything like that, just make sure it's paid for. And by really understanding your financial aid package, it's just gonna really give you peace of mind this semester and help you budget for the semester as well. The second thing that you should be thinking about this summer while preparing for college is your college essentials. So moving into your dorm can be so exciting. Definitely want to prepare with your college essentials. And this can really be overwhelming when you're kind of like, oh wait, what do I need to get? What do I need to do? Like, how do I prepare? One of the best ways you could prepare is having a checklist of everything you will need. So you can think about items such as bedding, kitchenware, toiletries, cleaning supplies, the whole nine, anything that you need for your dorm, you definitely want to make a checklist. And if you're not sure what to put on this checklist, you could look up YouTube videos, you could look up things on TikTok, on Pinterest, literally anything. The answers are out there on social media. My favorite thing to do when I was preparing for college was going on YouTube and like looking at dorm halls. For example, I didn't really know that mattresses at college were not comfortable, like at all. And I had no idea mattress toppers were even a thing. So thank goodness I was watching YouTube videos finally knew like, hey, oh, wow, I need a mattress topper. So that definitely helped me and I added that to my checklist. So that could definitely help you as well. And also keep in mind that shopping for college can be actually really expensive. So keep a lookout for those back to school deals, student discounts, and also make sure you're budgeting because you don't want to go over and spend a whole ton of money on your college essentials when you don't have that money. So budgeting can be a really important part while doing your college shopping. And the third thing you should be focusing on this summer while preparing for college is your school supplies. College life revolves around academics and academics need school supplies. But there are some hacks that you could use to really save money. For example, if you need to buy textbooks, which you can make use of websites such as Chegg to get secondhand books for a lot cheaper. So instead of dishing out $400 for a brand new book, you could dish out, I don't know, maybe $75. And you could also look at your school's bookstore because sometimes they actually do have used books. And also Facebook Marketplace, Love that thing. Facebook Marketplace was my go-to for college essentials, supplies, books, everything. You could also search your books on there. Also, a hack that I used when a professor says that the book is mandatory, sometimes I go on Google and I search like this book PDF, this book free PDF, and this happened in three classes. The book was like $300 and I found the PDF version for free on Google. So Google can be your best friend sometimes. So make sure you go and search whatever book you need, free PDF. That could also be really helpful. And also make sure you don't go overboard because I know sometimes it could be super exciting wanting to get all those supplies to be all aesthetic. Like every picture you see on Pinterest, I thought I was going to be like that when taking notes and maybe I survived like that for two days and then the rest I was like, okay, no, I actually switched from notebooks to taking notes on my laptop. So definitely figure out what's gonna work best for you. Don't go overboard shopping. Don't spend a million dollars on school supplies just to be cool and aesthetic. Most students, don't really keep up with that and you don't need to dish out a million dollars on these school supplies. And the fourth thing that you could be doing this summer to prepare for college is to prepare academically. If you're really passionate about the major you're going into, you might want to get a head start on being prepared to dive into that major. What you could do is you could first 
email your professor and ask them, hey, is there any summer reading I can be doing? Or is there anything that I could be doing to prepare myself for this class? Is there any educational videos I could be looking at? And I know you're probably like, hey, this is summer vacation. I don't wanna be doing that. You don't have to. However, if you do wanna get that head start, it could be really helpful to reach out to your professor. And also, it's just helpful in general starting that relationship with your professor over the summer so they know how passionate you are about this major, about this class. Having that good relationship with them could actually benefit you really well in the class. And the fifth thing that you could be doing this summer to prepare for college is networking. With a new school year coming up, especially if you are an incoming freshman, you probably don't know a lot of people like at all. So networking can come in handy when wanting to meet friends. And one of the things you can do is look on Facebook because I know for my school, I went to Pepperdine University. So it was like Pepperdine class of 2021 students. So it was like incoming freshmen and I specifically was a transfer student, so I joined the transfer group. There's so many groups. It could be like, for example, your school's name, this major, incoming freshman. Nine times out of 10, there is a Facebook group for your major, for your school, for freshmen, for whatever grade you're going into for your college. So be sure to take a look at that because you can really connect with people on there and make friends before you even get to school. Another thing you can do is Instagram. Instagram is definitely a really great way to connect with people. So. If you just look at your school's Instagram and look at their new followers or their hashtag, like I know mine was like go waves, something like that for new incoming freshmen, just click on that hashtag. Look at some people on there who are going to be incoming freshmen. Follow them, DM them. You are not alone in looking for new friends. Freshmen in any college are always looking for new friends. So it's not weird to reach out to someone. It's not weird to DM them. It's just, it's not weird. And what you could also do is look out for alumni or just current students who are in a later year than you and really just connect with them especially if they're in your major so for example my school there was an alumni connect page where it was like a whole database you can search like alumni for marketing majors and then it'll show you like a whole list of Pepperdine alumni that are marketing majors and you could literally click on them you could see all their information you could see where they work you could see their email and you could literally click on that email and reach out to them it was really really cool not sure if your school has that but you definitely want to look into that to see if they do or you could just look through LinkedIn, for example, if you search your college, you're gonna see people in the workforce who went to your college, who you could reach out to and be like, hey, like, I'm starting at so-and-so college with so-and-so major. I see that that's what you're doing right now. I would love to connect. I would love to learn more. And if you have any advice for me going into my freshman year, it's really great to keep connections because you never know where those connections are going to lead you in your future because that very connection that you made can help land you your first job out of college. So you never know. So don't be too shy to reach out. And that's all folks. Those were five essential things that you can be doing this summer to prepare for college. And we just wish you the best of luck going into this new journey. And just remember to always keep an open mind, be open to making new friends, be open to doing new experiences, especially experiences that you wouldn't normally do. Don't be afraid to push yourself outside of your comfort zone because these are the years for that. College is supposed to be the best four years of your life. And I know there were the best four years of mine. Well, actually scratch that. I transferred. Those were the best two years of my life. I really loved my college experience. And also that's a great point to make too. Don't think you're stuck if you start something and you don't like it. You're never stuck and you don't have to just suck it up and push it through for four years. I didn't like the school that I went to first. So after my two years, I literally transferred. I was like, I don't like this. Let's do something new. And it was the best decision I've ever made. So don't be afraid to take chances. Don't be afraid to just take that leap of faith and do new things. So we wish you the best of luck here at bold.org. And if you have any questions about preparing for college over the summer, you can go ahead and comment them down below and be sure to subscribe and like this video if you found it helpful. And we hope that you have the best summer ever and the best first semester ever. See ya.